I had mentioned about the CPLD board when I presented uh, virtual lab at IIT Bombay. So this is one of the deliverables of our lab. Uh, and I had mentioned that we are going to use this board for our uh, one of the lab sessions, which is there for tomorrow. We have already dispatched the uh, CPLD boards to your institutes, uh, the remote centers. Uh, each board has one CD also along with it. So today we will have a brief demonstration of how to use the board. Tomorrow you will have the lab session. The boards which are dispatched to you now, those boards will be with the remote centers. But then the participants who find it interesting for their labs, they can contact me. And if they really want to use, if they want to incorporate these boards in their curriculum for digital design, uh, then we would be happy to dispatch those boards to those institutes. This board has been designed to cater to our one semester undergraduate lab course. So all the sequential and combinational designs which any undergraduate student is expected to do, uh, you can have the lab in your pocket. So I hand over this floor to Abhishek. Abhishek is our senior M.Tech student here and he has designed the board and now the board is ready to use for you and he will demonstrate how to use the board. Uh, I hope the boards have reached all the centers by now. So uh, the board will look something like this. I will uh, start by introducing you briefly to the board. Okay. Uh, before the board, let us see the whole kit that you will be receiving. You will be receiving a complete kit okay, uh, enclosed in a plastic box that comprises of the CPLD board, a, C a DVD containing all the uh, necessary documentation, lab sheet and all uh, the videos that are required. We will go through that uh, in a short time and a couple of connectors to interface the board to some additional external circuitry. Uh, let us uh, let me begin by uh, giving a brief introduction of uh, to the board. The board comprises of an Altera CPLD of the Max 3000 series. Uh, it has 64 macro cells uh, equivalent to 1,250 usable gates. Uh, you can implement some very small to a uh, medium complexity designs onto the board. The board the features of the board. Uh, it's powered and programmed completely through USB. So you do not need an external power supply to use the board. You will find a USB or to B type connector uh, given along with the board in the kit. Uh, that is sufficient to actually power on and start using the board. Okay. The board also has a 1 hertz clock provided. So you can implement some basic sequential circuits without the need of a function generator. Apart from that, the board has 8 switches which are pre-configured as input on the board and 8 LEDs which are pre-configured outputs. Uh, you also have a set of 8 uh, IOs which are uh, user defined as in uh, you can assign them as inputs or outputs depending upon your requirement and you can use it to interface the board to external digital circuitry on the breadboard or any other application. Uh, I encourage you all to go through the user manual and study the board in greater detail. Uh, we'll just now uh, have a look at the CD and the contents that are uh, provided to you. One question you may have is uh, whether you have to pay for this board. Uh, the thing is that if you are serious to use this board, you will get the board free of cost. But the, but the thing is that you have to give us assurance that you will use this board for a semester and you, we would like to know how you are going to use the board. So you will get this board free of cost and you can start your labs immediately after you receive the board. So now we will see what are the contents of the CD. Uh, the CD has all the uh, contents required to use the board except for two, uh, two softwares. Uh, one is Altera Quartus which although is available free, uh, we are not supposed to distribute it. Uh, the link for the same was sent to all the coordinators and I hope you have downloaded the software and made it available on all the systems uh, which you will be using tomorrow. 
the second software again is your JTAG which is available free of cost but that has not been distributed uh, along with the disk that okay uh, but uh, that's because we are not uh, we do not have the license to distribute any of these softwares but they are available free of cost and it's a one time download once downloaded you can install it on any number of machines without any restrictions you do not need any serial key or a license to install those softwares the dvd accompanying has the user manual uh, giving details of the board its silent features the board settings that you need to do uh, installing the drivers using altera quartus uh, programming the cpld the uh, io configuration both the pre configured as well as the external io required and the links to downloading both the software okay please read the user manual in detail to understand the board properly then uh, the drivers required uh, to use the board have been provided on the cd okay the first time you connect the board to any computer you will be prompted for drivers you just need to redirect uh, the windows installation to that particular folder it will uh, pick up the driver files automatically and install it it's a one time process but uh, you will be prompted for the drivers four times you just need to direct it to the same folder each time and the drivers will uh, be su installed successfully a uh, basic introduction to hdl which comprises of professor sharma's lectures on uh, vhdl and uh, professor sachin patkar's lectures on verilog have been given uh, on the uh, cd to help all the users familiarize themselves with the concepts of vhdl and verilog uh, most important documentation uh, the lab sheets for five different experiments along with the source code have been given in the folder called uh, lab sheets here uh, we are ex giving a brief introduction to the uh, circuit that we'll be implementing along with the step by step procedure to use both altera quartus and your jtag okay the lab sheets have been designed keeping in mind that a student should be able to use the board and all the softwares without the need for any specific tutoring or any external help they are supposed to be self complete as in uh, you just need to read it well to understand and use it so i encourage all the participants to read the lab sheets go through that in detail and try uh, using the board on your own it it shouldn't be difficult at all just give it a try and you should be there then uh, as some people have reported that they have some pro uh, driver file ins uh, problems while installing george tag uh, it's generally the libusb.dll uh, error so to support that the same file has been given on the disk in case you get the libusb uh, file missing you just need to copy this file from the disk and paste it into the win windows system 32 folder and that should uh, clear the error the uh, sample files to test on a new board namely a simple io test a uh, sequential circuit comprising of a 4 bit counter and a combinational circuits uh, 4 bit by 4 bit multiplier the final svf files have been given you just need to transfer these files onto the board and use it do this to just verify whether the board is working properly or not and get a feel of the board before you start writing your own code and generating your uh, programmable files and lastly the videos folder consists of whatever i have spoken just now including uh, using the board or uh, introduce uh, introduction to altera quartus and your jtag everything has been documented in a very well made video which should be sufficient for any student or faculty member to use it use the board properly i hope uh, you all have the uh, website or uh, you all know our website where the same material that has been given in the cd has again been supported in including introduction to what are reconfigurable hardware devices uh, the board specifications and user manual uh, slides to hdl both vhdl as well as verilog and the lab sheets uh, if you go through that in detail you will actually see you have something more than just the lab sheets that includes 
some good theoretical introduction to the experiment under consideration a pre lab test which is expected to be solved by a student before he actually attempts that code on the cpld board it's just to test whether he has a good conceptual understanding of what he is going to implement the same lab sheet that has been given in the disk the verilog and vhdl code for the same which uh, you can just use compile and run to give a good assignment and finally we have some uh, post lab quiz uh, quiz type assignments which have uh, three exercises in each uh, experimentation with the difficulty level increasing gradually the solutions for that have not been provided we encourage all uh, students and faculty members to try it out on their own to get a good understanding of both hdl as well as reconfigurable hardware devices uh, this is the altera quartus 2 software the web edition which you were supposed to in download and use it's available free of cost and i'll give a brief uh, demo of using the software the first step consists of starting a new project will uh, demonstrate maybe a simple two bit and gate okay. uh, if you have the hdl file ready you can just add the source code at this stage or uh, if you do not have it you can create a new file and write your own code the next step consists of choosing the appropriate target device you can see a whole range of altera cpld's and fpgas are supported by the software so before you begin the synthesis process you need to select the right device now you go for a new hdl file or uh, it can be either a verilog file or a vhdl file that depends on whatever you are comfortable with so uh, just save the hdl file in the uh, project folder and go for compile uh, design which includes analysis and synthesis place and route the successful compilation will yield an output file which is used to generate the final programming file uh, you can go to the pinout file and check as to where your io pins defined in your entity have been mapped to by default uh, quartus will be mapping the pins to a random io pin which need not be the pre configurable inputs and outputs provided on board 
So, if you have to use any of those pins, you need to do the pin assignments manually. To do that, you go to assignments and the pin planner. Here, you can actually see the uh, IOs that you have defined and an option to map it to some particular location, map it to the switches, the inputs to the switches given on board and the outputs to the one of the LEDs. Okay, uh, please refer the user manual to know where the inputs and outputs are supposed to be mapped. The moment you change the pin assignments, you can see that you get a question mark at the compile design uh, window. So, you need to design, uh, you need to recompile the whole design again. And now, just go to the pinout file again and verify whether the pin assignments have been made as per your requirement or not. Now, you can generate the final programming file by going to the programmer option. Uh, select the serial vector format for the output file. And now, you are ready to use the board. Make the appropriate uh, jumper settings for the power and clock. To know more about it, please refer the user manual. Switch on the board. The drivers, uh, if you have used another USB board on it before, you will not be required to install the drivers. But if it is the first time, you will be prompted for the drivers and all you need to do is direct it to the drivers folder in the disk. Just open the uh, JTAG shell and uh, you will need a sequence of three commands to transfer your programming file. The first is the cable FT2232. This command connects to the uh, drive, uh, driver uh, device onto the board. The uh, detect command will identify the target device. It is identified as EPM 3064 and this should be the same that you have specified before you begin uh, began the synthesis process. If you select some different device and you try to uh, transfer its programming file to on, on a board which has a different target device, you will uh, run into an error saying that the device IDs do not match. The final command is the SVF uh, uh, file transfer command, where uh, the syntax comprises of just SVF followed by the complete path of the target SVF file. And now, uh, you have the uh, programming file ready onto the CPLD for testing. Uh, the LED is actually glowing and uh, now I would say if any of you have any queries regarding any, uh, the ent whole process, uh, please let me know. Uh, just in case you happen to uh, run across any, any difficulties, uh, you can post it to Moodle or uh, you can uh, you have my mail ID at in the first page of the user manual, okay, uh, just contact us for any help. Thank you. Over.